With more than 70% of fire departments nationwide being volunteer based, the need for volunteer firefighters and EMT grows daily. That's why the Guadalupe County Fire Depart Fire Association rather hosted a major training event today. As the night team's Jaffney Gray explains, the association wants to raise awareness about the need for volunteers and hopefully attract dedicated community members. All right, you're fleeting, go in and go left. Volunteer and career firefighters from multiple counties, including Bear, Guadalupe, and Comal, united today during the 2019 Mario Lopez Memorial Spring Fire School. The training took place at the Guadalupe County Fire Training Facility, where firefighters were put in various scenarios. We have one victim coming out. One victim coming out. They learned aggressive and progressive tactics for search and rescue to save victims who wouldn't normally be viable to save. Say that you've got a mother that comes out screaming for her child and they know that room is where that child was last at. This is training to get these guys into the room to save that victim. Participants were challenged. I'm dredged, soaked in wet, I'm covered in sheetrock, uh, we're covered in burned up materials, and the whole purpose is just to try to save that person's life because we're not here for us. President of the Guadalupe County Firefighter Association, Eric Johnson, yeah. says training like this is important, especially with the nationwide shortage of volunteer firefighters. And that's a combination of work, uh, the two household income, and just time constraints. It wears you out, um, having about the 60, 70 pounds of extra gear on top of you, and then you're in an environment that's anywhere from 300 to 1,000 degrees trying to save a life. He says to be a firefighter, it takes a little bit of crazy, a little bit of guts, but a lot of heart, which is all worth it in the end. We do it for, for the community. You know, we do it to save lives. We do it for them. Jaffany Gray, KSAT 12 News.